Amanda Rippon with here with Chicago's biggest news. Ron Santos funeral Cubs legend makes final trip to Wrigley today. Baseball commissioner, Bud Selig and Cubs owner Tom Ricketts were among those there to pay respect to Santo on Friday during a funeral service at Holy Name Cathedral in Chicago. Santo died December 3rd of bladder cancer at age 70. After the service, the casket was to travel down Chicago's famous Michigan Avenue, past the WGN studios where Santo worked as a radio broadcaster, then make a somewhat predictable trip around the outside of Wrigley. Some Cubs followers said that while they respected Santo as a player and broadcaster, they mostly viewed him as someone who experienced the ups and downs more frequently, the downs of his beloved Cubs, right alongside them. As an announcer it all came through in his voice, said John Anast, of Chicago. He was a fan. Anast got in line at 6 am Thursday for a chance to see Santo's casket, 10 hours before the church doors opened to the public. More than 400 people showed up at the wake Thursday afternoon, braving the snowy, windy weather in a line that snaked around Holy Name Cathedral. In an unrelated story, Kardashian fashion empire is in crisis. After finding huge success in reality TV, the Kardashian sisters appear to be struggling in the fashion side of their business. Their business took two big hits on Thursday and it's not clear how the sisters plan to recover. First, as Magazine.com reports that the Kim, Chloe and Courtney's collaboration with clothing line Beb is coming to an end. In addition to the Beb situation, a column in Thursday's New York Times gave a scathing review of the Kardashian sisters' Nick Boutique, Dash. Dash is a fashion desert, just doodles of drippy cowl necks and embellished cap sleeves and synthetic fibers, the story reported. Clothes are essentially split into two categories of fit vacuum sealed and hot air balloon. As in most theme parks, there wasn't anything worth carrying away but memories. Times writer John Karimanica concluded. Once again they have overestimated their appeal and they have discovered that as fashion gurus, they suck. They are nothing but fame whores. Maybe this is the beginning of the end so we won't have to endure these ridiculous slags for much longer. It looks like they make their clothes from old curtains and floor rugs. Someone finally looked from the cleavage to the clothes, I guess.